I'm Hidenori Tanaka, a research scientist at Physics and Informatics Lab, PyLab at NTT Research. So at PyLab, we work on problems at the interface of quantum physics, brain science, and optic engineering. What we seek in PyLab is very conceptual and high-level understanding of how the brain operates, and then these high-level understanding that can be transferable for artificial computers, both classic and quantum. Traditionary in physics has been about studying about, let's say, water or gas. These are collection of molecules and atoms. And if you want to describe that, you need a new framework like thermodynamics or statistical physics. And my angle when thinking about our brain is like, what is the analog of that kind of theoretical framework that can explain any of the information processing happening in our brain in a simple mathematical way? One very unique aspect of this NTT research is that we really explore ideas. We are not just taking some existing question and then trying to find a you know, quick solution to that. I think we really want to identify where the next possibility that we even haven't imagined yet exists. And then for that, academic institution like Stanford has such a diverse and huge resource. And the fact that I can go to Stanford and then talk with all the experimental biologists every day about brain, while at PhiLab, I talk to all the quantum scientists and engineers trying to build next generation quantum or optic computation devices. It's surprising for me that NDT really just let me pick the question that I want to ask, let me pick the approach that I want to take, and then this has been really just simply amazing. One of the reasons why I'm fascinated about brain science, among all the other scientific fields, is that this really connects back to the philosophical aspects as a human being. And I'm hoping that some of the scientific discovery can really just change and open up a way people think about their daily life. Yeah.